Hey everybody, Scott Burnett here. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to do a little how-to video, how to take pictures and videos off your iPhone or iPad and put them on a Windows 10 PC like I got here in front of me. All it takes is a cable, so if you have a, an iPad Pro or a, a late 4th um, gen, 5th gen iPad Pro or an iPhone 12, you're going to need a USB-C cable that one right there and it comes back to a USB A um, or if your computer has USB C on both ends you'll have that on both ends uh, an older iPad older iPad Pro older iPhone you're gonna have a lightning cable let me turn it right there that's a lightning cable with a USB on the other end or USB C on the other end they make those too Kind of expensive but they're good so today since I'm filming on the iPhone we're gonna uh, take pictures off the iPad and I'm gonna show you how to do that right here okay here I am at the desktop and I've got a unique situation here that um, I um, I'm filming with my iPhone but I'm gonna do this with my iPad on the same computer I've got my iPhone running through a program called OBS uh, to capture everything just I'm just trying it. It's it's working pretty good for me, but um, So what I got I got my iPad and I've been taking some pictures with it A lot of people don't do that, but but I am I'm one of them people um, So what I got I got a USB-C cable plugged in And I got the other end right here, so I'm gonna take it and plug it into my computer now one of the things you got to have you have to have a, an up-to-date Windows 10 you know pretty up-to-date you know at least this year you know end of last year try to update your machine to that uh, I'm running 20H2 that's one of the latest updates and it has a, a photos app in it it's not the greatest photos app but it works pretty good but you need to sign in to your Microsoft account to the Microsoft Store and get iTunes for Windows. Now you can download this from Apple, but it's a little bit harder to find it and find the right version. But I have the um, iTunes right here for Windows, and I've already signed into the store. So if you have an iPhone, you have an Apple ID, you just sign into the Apple Store with it, and that's all you have to do. And you open it up. And as you can see, it's sitting down here on my desktop somewhere right there. Right there. Uh, you leave it open. Now, Windows has to have the driver to connect the iPhone to the operating system. Well, it comes from iTunes. So I haven't been able to get it to work without that. Some people may have, but I, I haven't. So I have iTunes. I'm signed in. Okay, so what you do, you come over here. iTunes is open. I'm going to go to the Photos app. It's right here in the Start menu. I'm going to open it up. There's me and a bunch of pictures. Fish and food and whatnot. I'm going to plug my USB cable into the computer. It goes boo to boo. And most of the time it'll ask you... Well, thank you. Some, most of the time it'll ask you if you want to trust this... Uh, device for some reason it didn't it is Windows not perfect so I clicked iPad and it's scanning my device now it's gonna look for all the pictures and I did this previous with the phone and got all my pictures off of it now I have them in iCloud I have them on this computer and I have them on my NAS so I like taking pictures of friends and family and fishing and my dog and uh, like going back and looking at them. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to uh, just pick one here. I'm going to pick one of Gretchen. And you can pick however many you want and they're generally in your phone or by date or by album. So you can pick that. But I'm going to import this done just that fast 
Now you can have it delete your photos afterward, but I don't do that. I, I wouldn't recommend it. But, um, but anyway, it uh, did just fine, and there it's in my pictures album now. So the other way to do it is to go in and download the Google Photos app. Okay, so when you download the Google Photos app, it's going to ask you if you have a, a, a Google ID, a Google email, or Gmail, Gmail. Um, and I have one, and it's free. You don't have to pay for it. And you can go in and get your photos and everything. So what you do is you back them up. And then you can uh, bring them in on your computer. You can go right straight to your browser. And go right to photos. Like, and remember, I got to be over here. And you can go get your photos by date. And that's pretty cool. And you can you can download them. You can do whatever. Uh, if your videos, you can play them. So if I want to download that video, and that's my child Ryan Burnett with a really good striped bass. That's one of the best pictures we ever had. That that's that's a good one. That was a good day. But um, yeah, that's two ways that you can get photos and videos off your iPhone and iPad works great I, I mean i do all that so pretty neat so anyway i'm gonna end it right there uh, if you got any questions leave them down there in the comments hope you enjoyed the video hope you get something out of it um if you like that video give me a thumbs up hit that little subscribe button hit that bell to be notified 556 subscribers and i can't thank you enough and hey i'd love to have you on board i'd love to have you click that bell so i can uh show you some more stuff you know i'm going to have i'm gonna have some fishing videos and how to's and cooking and uh i just i want to be able to help people and uh, show you how to do things and and i enjoy being creative like this so but anyway i'm gonna end it right there hope everybody's had a great week and a great day and until the next video thanks for watching that's a good fish Man. I gotta do that again. I gotta get him out of the boat.